All right, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about artistic expression. We're going to go through different art from different cultures. There are certain cultures that present art in one way and other cultures that present it in a different way. Some cultures have a couple ways um, to show their art. And so as we go through these next couple examples, I want you to notice the ones that you're familiar with and maybe some that you aren't super familiar with. So the first one that we want to start with is painting. Most of us have seen a painting before, but did you know that it originated 20,000 years ago? People used to do paintings on cave walls over 20,000 years ago is the first time it's where it originally began. So they didn't just run down to Walmart and buy some paint so they could go to their cave and they could draw some pictures on a cave. So these people would get charcoal or dirt with mixed with some water and they would make their own paint so that they could put it on the cave wall. So obviously today our paintings look a little different than this, but this is where it originally started, was about 20,000 years ago. The next form of art that we wanna talk about is cubism. Cubism originated in France in about 1907, so it was about 100 years ago, by Pablo Picasso. I don't know if you've ever heard of Pablo Picasso before, uh, but these are his style was cubism. He re would reinvent traditional subjects and make them look a little different. As you can see, these are people and an octopus. That's not really what people look like. And that's not really what an octopus looks like, but he just made them look kind of like cubes in his art. And so this originated in France and Pablo, Pablo Picasso was the one that started that. The next type of art we're gonna talk about is steel art. They use different kinds of metals in Greece and Italy, and they would make art with this steel. So instead of just having a piece of steel that's just flat, they would put stuff, they would uh, press things into the art, or they would cut it like you see on the, the sun and the moon on this side. Uh, they would cut it so that it's different lengths, and so it makes the art stick out more. Um, the one on the left, you can see they pressed into it with some type of machine or somehow they, they pressed into that so that it sticks out, right? It's not just a flat, smooth piece of steel, but as you can see, the picture um, is pressed in or pressed out, depending on what side you're looking at. So this is steel art, and this originated in Greece and Italy. They don't really know where it first started, so it's one of those countries. The next one that we want to talk about is constructivism. Constructivism. This originated in Russia, also about 100 years ago in 1915. And this is mostly just shapes. As you can see, there's circles, there's triangles, there's squares, there's rectangles. Constructivism just has a lot of geometric shapes. Uh, people were very into math at this time, and so they would use measuring tools to measure different shapes, and they, that's what they would make their art with. As you can see, it's not necessarily a picture of an animal, it's just art that uses different types of shapes. So it's a little bit different than paintings or other things um, that we've seen before. And glass blowing, this one's kind of cool. This originated in Syria. And glass blowing is a way to make a way to make glass. They do lots of different um, things. As you can see, they made bowls and cups. They can also make just random. I don't know what this one on the bottom is. It's just gonna be like a swirl, which is kind of cool. Um, the glass is you're able to move it when it's really really hot. It's not. Uh, super hard like glass until it melts. So they're able to get it super hot and then put it into whatever shape they want and then it hardens and it obviously uh, is like the glass that we're used to seeing. So once it's hardened, you can't just change the shape of it, but when it's really hot, you can. Um, and this originated in Syria. This is glass blowing, a type of art. Origami. I bet we've seen some of this before. This originated in Japan. 
Um, the top, you can see some ducks. You can see a, um, a paper crane on the right side. And then on the bottom, you can see some dragons, which are pretty cool. And this is a form of art where they just use a piece of paper and they make it into the shape of some type of animal. Um, they don't have to be animals, but most of the time when we see origami, we see, we see animals. So again, this originated in Japan. It's called origami. Watercolor paintings. This originated in Egypt a very long time ago. Um, a lot of us have probably seen watercolors before. Uh, you get a paintbrush and you put it into some paint and also some water and then you put it on the piece of paper or the canvas or whatever you're going to paint. So it's not necessarily a marker or like regular paint, it's, it's mixed with water. So as you can see, especially this picture of the camel, um, you can see where it's the water and the paint uh, mixed together to make that, make that painting. And the last one we're gonna talk about today is dot art. This actually originated in Australia and as you can see, there are this picture. Um, you can see this turtle on the right side. It's not just a picture of a turtle that someone drew, but it's just dots. It's a bunch of dots that make up the picture, which is pretty neat. So if you get a bunch of dots and put them in a certain pattern or certain order, you can make a picture that way. It looks a lot different than if you just drew a picture of a turtle, but this is called dot art and it originated in Australia. I hope you were able to learn about some different artistic expressions and how some cultures express um, themselves with their art. I hope you were able to learn about different types of art.